go. Okay, so today we're going to be installing the uh, the Seca um, Solaric 440 solar controller. It's a 40 amp solar controller. The one I had before was a 20 amp solar controller, exactly the same, same manufacturer. Um, it just was starting to produce too much power um, from the panels on really sunny days. Um, what I've got on top of the roof there is I've got four 100, uh, four times 100 watt panels, and um, that's being um, put into four uh, Trojan T100 batteries. And these are six volt batteries, 225 amp each. Um, they've been running parallel and series to give me a total uh, voltage of 12 volts. Um, so without any further ado, let's install this controller. Um, as I said, the original one went up here. This is going to go in exactly the same spot. There's no, um, you know, the screw holes are going to be exactly the same. It's the same sizing. So we'll just put that in. Fast forward this uh, boring part so you don't have to watch it, but some of you may want to watch it. And I'll try not to grumble. We'll go through the um, commissioning of this device because it's uh, very, very important um, that you do this in the right order, but that will come in a second. sunny day it's very very cloudy there's very little sun and um, but on a sunny day um, as I say we can produce up to as much as 27 amps of power coming off those um, of those panels right so we've got this all installed the first thing we're going to do in the commissioning um, the batteries okay and that's the center ones here plus some negative uh, positive and negative We've got the uh, panels, you know, the power coming from the panels on here, positive, negative, and we've got the output to our 12 volt lighting system and the um, the USB charger here, which I'll explain a bit in a, in a minute. So um, the first thing we're gonna do when you're doing this is to connect this positive to the battery and the negative to the battery. It's very important you do this stage because if you don't, this controller is not going to know whether you're running 12 volts or 24 volts on the battery side. Um, we've got a 12 volt um, battery side. This will pick it up as soon as we connect these up. So positive on the battery. do not touch these wires together um, a little bit of protection um, prior to doing it make sure you've got some um, fuses um, built in I've got two in this case I've got a 20 amp up here and I've got a 20 amp just going before the, before the battery um, we've got a kill switch here all right which is in the off position at the moment because you must not cross these two wires over if you cross these two wires over and you don't have any fusing in the system this will become like a a welding torch it's going to burn this um, rubber insulation off within seconds and the a copper wire um, within is going to glow as bright as the sun um, it's going to frighten the living day let's have a Terrier goes 
these in properly. And then turn her up. Again, this just wants to be hand tight, one quarter turn from when it is tight. So it's now tight, there's it tight, and then one quarter turn, okay, and she's in good. Next on our um, commissioning um, is to turn the actual power on. So this is then gonna give power to this um, programmer. It's gonna read the voltages on those batteries. U30, 40 amps, and she's now powered up. Next, we are going to fit the positive from the solar panel. This positive goes into here. Very, um, very, very simple. Open those terminals up, make sure they go in properly. Again, tight, one quarter turn. Give a tiny little tug to make sure she's in properly. Hide your wire away. The wire is a little bit untidy, but we're going, we're going to tidy that up. The negative from the, um, the panels is over here. Let's open up turn the wire properly. Nicely, turn her up and give her a tiny little tug, tidy wiring up. Okay, lastly, um, this is the 12 volt lighting system I've installed. Again, we've got a positive, we've got a negative. Um, this is simply going to go into here. to the negative and all is working I'm just going to turn that in the off position you'll see you'll see that light comes on and then as you press it it comes off that's disabled now any power going to the um, the 12 volt system um, at the moment I've got a few 12 volt lights uh, around with the outside of the shed um, we've got a, a half a, um, a five watt bulb over here five watt bulb on the outside of here um, we've got another one you probably can't see it's just up here one on the outside so th th there is a den now as we go through the um, the commissioning basically we've basically done everything so as I say battery first solar panels next and then the output always the positive first not the negative positive first okay as we go through this this is a normal display she's giving a nice smiley face here so she's a happy girl next we'll go through the um, voltage and um, in the batteries so down, down below here where I've got the four um, batteries um, it's reading 13.3 volts off the roof at the moment that's off the solar panels as I say there's four uh, 100 watt panels up there it's producing 2.3 amps there's not a you know, the, the, there's no sun in the sky it's blanketing cloud and yet we're still getting power coming off it what's going into the batteries is 2.3 amps so everything, the, everything that's coming from the solar panels is going directly in, 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 into the battery supply and then our current draw at the moment that's on the 12 volt system which is coming out of here is absolutely nothing all right um, if we turn one of them on, and we plug our you can see there we're now starting to draw a power through um, the 12 volt system. And I take this light off you'll see it drops a tadge um, so at the moment what we've got is we've got um, a iPad charger you can see it's charging away there quite nicely try and point it a little bit closer to you we've got two external lights running at present as we go through this again um, I did have this connected up earlier on um, and it's been installed for probably about three hours 
um, it's managed to produce 12 amp hours of power which is um, which has taken off the solar panels um, it's um, we've used five amps of it up I kept the lighting running constantly as I say over that period of um, three hours we also ran the um, the the swimming pool sand filter um, that's running off a um, uh, a, a, a Kotec a pure sine wave 600 watt inverter um, it's not going to show on here because as I say the the the, the inverter is actually um, taking all its power actually from the batteries so um, you're only going to see the draw on the batteries from from um, looking at the battery discharge levels um, but it does all the data logging for you um, it really has got a nice little system so there you have it okay this is the um, uh, the Stecker Solaric 440 40 amp solar controller. Hope you enjoyed.